Welcome back. In this session of the My Parish Council Clerk Training, we're going to take you through an overview of the left-hand menu and the system itself and similarities between all the various automated functions that are provided for you. Before we do anything else, let's log back into the system. Now that you're logged back in, we look again at the left-hand menu. And what I'd like to demonstrate is the similarities between lots of the various functions. When I say a function, meetings is a function of the system so it's councillors, news, events, notices, reports, policies, history items, amenities, local attractions, the image gallery and the carousel. When you add things to any of these items they will automatically be populated onto the website itself. So let's look at the similarities between all of those functions. If we first of all open up meetings, we'll see two things. One is called list meetings and the next is called add meeting. If we open up news, this, we'll also see list news and add news. Same with events, notices, and in fact every one of those functions has always got the ability to list and to add. So what is the difference? Well, when we list something, what we're doing is listing all of the various items that are meetings in this case. If we were to list councillors, it will give a list of all of the councillors within the system. And if we list news, we will list all the news articles within the system, published and unpublished, you may note. This is true again for all of these functions that have been added to the system to make your life a easier. List of carousel slides, for instance, shows all of the various slides associated with the carousel which is present on the home page. If we wish to edit something that exists already, we always list the meetings or list the items and then just click on the link that's present in here or in fact hit the edit button which is on the right hand side of your screen. Both take us to the same place which is effectively the pre-populated form that was used to create the item in the first place. When I'm finished making the edits for that particular item I will go scrolling to the bottom and I'll have the option to preview the work that I've done, save as draft so that I don't actually publish the information but just save where I'm up to in terms of the edits or in fact publish. They all work in exactly the same way so I'll show a different, a different example of news. First thing is I select news, I list the news, I edit the new particular article, the news item I'm interested in and I fill in the blanks or not blanks in this case, I update the copy that's been provided I then go ahead, preview, save the draft or publish and every single one of them works in exactly the same way. Where it differs on the left hand menu is where are these special functions at the bottom where we have things like contact us, pages, site configuration and user management and media library. The media library is somewhere that you'll go quite often and is effectively a set of folders in your website where you can organize all the various images for documents etc that are used by the website. We pre-populated the media library with common sets of folder names associated with the functions on the left hand side and some of them will in fact have submenus to them. For instance council documents will have policies declaration. This is only to keep things organized for you and to make life simpler. It isn't meant for anything else. You could ignore it completely, however, with time it will become more and more complex to find what you need. You of course have the filter function on the right hand side which can help and simply by typing whatever you're interested in and pressing return you should get a list of the resulting images, documents etc that have the word say example in, in the file name. In this case council documents doesn't. So just to recap, the 
common functions that exist for you are list and add and this applies to any of the special functions that have been created right the way down to carousel to make your life easy as a clerk. hope that helps and please feel free to contact us and go to the next training module when you're ready.